All right, what's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna replace the headlight or tail lights on my Subaru WRX. This is the 2011, uh, but this will apply to 2008 to 2014 models. And there's a gas truck or garbage truck in the background. But you guys can see on these tail lights, I uh, got a crack right here. So I'm like, you know, I'll upgrade. And these tail lights look sick. I got them in the box right here. Um, if you guys are enjoying these videos, I post semi daily, so subscribe 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and comment down below what else you guys want to see on the channel and leave a like if you guys enjoyed today's video. But without further ado, we'll get to the content. Uh, right now, we're going to take these taillights off, so we have to get them through the trunk and we're, we got them from both sides. So we'll get to it. And if you guys are new to the channel, we do work on Subarus. I have a 2011 WRX and there's a 2006, Five. 2005 STI that my best friend drives and we'll have content with him and a 2008 Forester mm -hmm. 2008 Forester um and of course they're blue all right so right now i am unboxing the taillights um i believe i got them on ebay it's like uh two something something like that and he uses the uh the oem looking style so this is just one side, and it has a harness in it. So let's bring it over here. So that's the uh, the old. Uh, this is the new. They kind of look like what comes in the VA chassis, like the newer ones. Yeah, yeah, that's like what it's based on, I think, because this is like something. And the new ones so this will be on this is like my running light and then i have leds for brake lights and then bulbs for reverse lights so these are going to be reused but all these are going to get replaced and it has a new harness and you just plug the harness into the uh the truck and then this is i think this is for the led so you spent too much time working on humvees you just said the truck oh <laughs> the car <laughs> i still gotta get used to these but um yeah, right. I know these are kind of hard to take off. You gotta like pull it up from the back. I got some stuff in here. Um, pull it up from the back and push it through. But we get to that. Um, Jarris knows more about that than I do. So he'll be helping. Yeah, I think these look sick. Hopefully they'll get on the collar. I saw a video. There's only one video on YouTube uh, with these taillights. So yeah, it was some uh, old Japanese man in Japan. <laughs> Also, uh, this piece is broken, so we're gonna figure out that maybe like plastic weld or something. But I also washed this car. Like this looks crazy, dude. Like this side is hazy still, but dude, like this, it looks so good. I haven't hand washed this car ever, but um, we're gonna do this side first because this side's already cracked. And I can sell the other side when this side comes off. So this side we're probably just gonna throw out. But um, what are you doing? Taking out all the clips. You have three here, one here. You don't have to take those clips out. You can push it like that. Or like. It's just a clip back there. Okay. All right. Yeah. My car had one further down that you couldn't get. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, ten, what? Ten mils. Mm -hmm. Ten deeps. All right. Where's my socket? So, should I uh, disconnect the battery? No. Okay. Yeah. It's an eight. Yep. <laughs> well, it's connectors. It's not like it's just live wires. You can't get shocked off DC voltage, mate. Really? Nope. I didn't know that. AC. We got Sunday turning the bolts. That's what my grandfather calls him. Sunday. <laughs> you need more room? No, I was looking at something underneath there. I'll tell you in a minute. The rust? You got a pool of water down there. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. 
I'll probably just dry it. Yeah, there's like a little bit of water over here. You think it's because the seal's bad? I think it's, yeah, I don't know. Could be the weather's tripping up there, I'm not sure. Could be coming from there too. Huh? Yeah. The gap in the tail lights. That's why these tail lights are, they suck, dude. You can see all the rust run down from there. Yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, these have the new. This is like a. And we gotta like push it in from the back. Pause. Push what in? The tail light. Like push it this way. Pulling the harness too. They have to. Okay. Can't get this clip out. This is gonna be the longest. What? It's not coming up over here. Is yeah. there like a clip right here or something? Yeah, I know how that comes off. That white one? Oh yeah. Just pinch it. All right, yeah, so I need like pliers or something to pinch that. Or if you push in, maybe. All right, I'm gonna need two. So, these are the four um, bolts you need to take off. So this one will run to your idle lights, I believe, of what it's called. Or th this one will go to your idle lights. Um, Did you get that off? For this? Yeah, but can you, did you get the plastic thing off? I wanna see if I can get that off. Yeah, that's the last one. I tried pulling it, I didn't know, I didn't see the other one. So I broke the corner, but this is the, uh, the broken one already. So I'm not worried about it. All right. After that harness came out, um, damn, that's crusty. Yeah. But after that, that's like cookie crusty. But yeah, after that harness came out, um, we were able to just pull it off. So I ended up just, I just squeezed it with the, uh, the ball point on that. And this one. So I guess you don't have to take this out. It just pulls. So it's like I broke that clip. No, it's not broken. It's still in there. So yeah, so this one. So now we're just gonna use what we learned and hopefully it'll just pull out. Hopefully. Uh, and this one we could sell. So sick. All right, so this is the, the one, the second one that we took out. This one's the first one, it broke sad but this is the second one and it didn't break it Things perfect just got to be able to get that harness off and then put it onto this one so we can mount this on so i think we just have to get a pin and then put this through here what is it oh it goes in here right yeah it goes right here so that's something we have to figure out yeah because like this plastic i think goes onto it yeah that's what it hooks up to. So somehow take that off and see which one this goes to. All right, dude, this is the good one. We practice on the good one. We got the clip out and everything. Things not broken, things sick. Where's the other one? This one we could just bust. Hey, yo, pause, bro. Hey. Help me with this one, cheers. You got this? Here. All right, flip it. Turn it like that. So I'm trying to record this and do it at the same time, so I don't think it's gonna work. 
Yeah, hold this one. You see? Okay, I'm just gonna break it. I don't need this anyway. Oh my god, no, I bent your screws over. <laughs> oh, that's for school. Ready? I'm in the back. Need a new screwdriver set for it's school. It's bent. It's been back. It's straight, it's dude. It's okay. Alright, did you put the... Alright, now we gotta yeah, put the... Alright, um... Let me see. You got this? Do you know which one, go, which one goes on each side? Or does the harness not matter? Yeah, I'm holding it upside down, maybe. Um, I don't think it matters, but... I'm just gonna match up the right one. All right, so this one, this one was the one over here. I don't know which one you did first. Yeah. This is the broken one, so. That one's trash. This is off the broken one, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't think it really matters, but. Yeah. Just in case. We'll put put this in first. Yeah. Yeah. So just plugged the harness in, and then now all the bulbs. This is gonna be yeah. This is yeah. Amber. So yeah, that bulb comes out. I think you like just press. I think you just pull it, no? Yeah. Maybe not. Let me see. This is there anything on the sides or anything? No. Yeah, you just it should just pull it out. Hold this. And then that goes in there. Is it directional? Maybe. <laughs> it should be. I mean, I'm sure it is. We'll figure it out once it's in. Oh, why is this one not lighting up? There you go. This is, I might have to come off. I don't think it's gonna fit. This is flush against the car. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll uh, wire it. We'll feed it through before we, you know what I'm saying? All right, so we'll put this one in first. So this is the broken side. This is this side. Can you can you slide in uh, this too? Does it have that thing? Mm -hmm. Did that slide in? No, I think you gotta like hold it in. Like when you, while you slide it in. Cause it has to get onto that clip. Yeah. Now push it. There you go. That's on. That's it. No, it's not. That's on um, before. It's making noises. It's in there. I don't think it's, I just don't think it's clipped well. It's in the clip. Alright, well, I think once we tighten it, it'll hold it down. Can you see? Yeah, no, that clip wasn't in. Alright, well, it's in. Now it's it's clipped in. It looks good. Yeah, it looks good. It's got a little bit of panel gap. That's either. It's not even. You just said you got it on eBay earlier. All right, it's not eBay, but it's from eBay. I bought my Sparkle stuff from eBay. Stay tuned for that. Look, look at this over here. That is not fitting good. That is sick. 
I might have to. I mean, once the like, I think it'll bend back in place. Once you put the trunk down a couple times. Yeah. And the trunk's sitting on it. I give it a test. Whatever you want to do. So this is the running light, this like C thing, and I'm going to turn the car on and we'll do the blinkers and whatnot. No? Got the RGB. Uh, I put I just put the other side in real fast. Um, I still have to cut the zip tie and stick this. We're gonna stick it up here because my trunk leaks on that side. I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, dude, like these these are actually mad good. There's a little bit of panel gap right here, which is fine, I guess. I don't think there's no way I'm gonna be able to pull that in. And yeah, it's like this on the other side, so it's even. That looks, that looks insane, dude. Should I have the thumbnail of it in the car? Yeah. I would use the one of you, of you holding it up. Okay. okay. Dude, like, yeah, you should get a sticky thing. night and day, like. Yeah, you should get a sticky thing over here with a flag thing and put this down. No. I'm going to hang that up in the shop. Night and day, dude. We gotta get a video of both. How much you tighten in these? See if you can pull it in at all. I don't, yeah, it's not. You're gonna break the stud on it. No. The eBay junk, dude. I didn't tighten that much. Oh, also, I wanna do unboxing before I leave. Alright, so um, I just got this package from the Racer Miata. Uh, I'm a Merch Gang Patreon of his. And he has, he always sends like signed Hot Wheels. So this is the 180SX Advan. And I think this is the, uh, the junk intercooler. I don't know what's in here. Cause he, he, these are the mystery packages. And I think I saw someone, one of their stories, they were just throwing stuff in there. Like, uh, I, I think, yeah, but it came from Tommy, these stuff. Oh, I already have this landing. So, stickers, junk, probably put that on the drift car, some more stickers, and lanyard, you know, the junk lanyard, dude, that's sick, thank you, <laughs> come in, alright, so, uh, we just installed these taillights, Jarrett just finished up tightening them, so I'm gonna turn on the lights and you guys can see the uh, first reaction. This is before I've even seen them, so you guys are lucky. As you guys saw in the last clip, um, this one was blinking faster, right? Um, the front um, blinker is out, or it's not out, it's just going out, so it's like that. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please subscribe, post semi-daily, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel, what else you guys want to see done on this, 
Um, huge plans in the making to do a driver, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and leave a like if you guys enjoyed today's video. The Dancing Dragons out. Peace.